In 2021, medical student and illustrator Chidabi Ibi shared his illustration of a pregnant black woman and fetus online. His illustration sparked a discussion about diversity in medical illustration, many reactions stating how they've never seen illustrations of people of color that was not depicting an infectious disease. How often have you seen medical illustrations of people of color? Imagine this, you walk into your doctor's office and you notice the posters and pamphlets around the room while you wait for your doctor. Did you know that the images and illustrations on many of these medical literature are done by specially trained artists known as medical illustrators? Medical illustrators are professional artists with specialized training and advanced knowledge in subjects such as medicine, science, art, and design. They often work with scientists, physicians, and others in creating visual representation of theories and concepts to promote education and research, not only for healthcare professionals, but everyday people too. According to the Association of Medical Illustrators, there are less than 2,000 trained medical illustrators in the world. Discussion of diversity and inclusion in medical illustration is not a unique topic as it can be traced to the social and racial inequalities that is found in the healthcare system. Majority of medical illustrators today identify as white, while 14% identify as Hispanic, 7.5% as Asian, and 4.3% as Black and or African American. From the U.S. Census, 64% of physicians identify as male, 56% identify as white, 6% as Hispanic, and 5% as Black. Majority of nurse practitioners are female, however, 25% identify as non-white, and according to the American Academy of Physician Associates, majority of PAs are female and identify as white or non-Hispanic, 3.2% are black and or African American, and 86 are Hispanic. Now why was it important to list off all of the stats about medical illustrators and medical providers? Now medical illustration is crucial in the education of healthcare professionals and for the public, because healthcare providers work and interact with a diverse population, it is important that the material taught to them represents that diverse population. One of the biggest topics discussed about diversity in medical imagery is the lack of diversity in the educational material for dermatology. Lack of diversity in the educational material for dermatology can impede the physician's care and knowledge of skin conditions, but also the patient's own education about their skin. In a review of some popular textbooks about dermatology, only 19% of the images shown show skin of color. Published in 1975, the Fitzpatrick Skin Type Scale has been used by dermatologists and educational material in determining the skin types based on the color and reaction to UV light. Since it was published, healthcare professionals have questioned the reliability of the scale due to its limited range of skin types and colors. Because skin conditions can present differently on different skin tones and types, without exposure and knowledge of the different presentations, physicians and healthcare providers may delay the diagnosis of skin conditions on people of color as compared to lighter skin tones. Another study takes a look at some of the most popular and used textbooks in medical institutions. Atlas of Human Anatomy, Bates Guide to Physical Examination and History Taking, and Guides Anatomy for Students, and also Clinically Orientated Anatomy. After reviewing more than 4,000 images, the study shows that light skin types are overall overrepresented in the images presented in the textbook, taking about 74.5%. Only 21% of the images show medium skin tones, and only 4.5% are dark skin tones. Bates' Guide to Physical Examination and History Taking is the only textbook reviewed in the study that provided images of skin conditions. However, most of the models shown in the book are white and the presentation of melanoma is shown in a light skin tone. It should also be noted that based on the proportions of the population, it can be argued that the images of Bates, clinically oriented anatomy, and Gray's anatomy represents the proportions of the population. That doesn't mean that that is equitable representation as the study continues to show that many of the chapters exclude any images or discussions of black people, people of color, and darker skin tones. When it comes to anatomy textbooks, educational material, and atlases, majority of them depict a normal human model as young and white males. Frank Netter, who illustrated some of the most popular atlases in medical illustrations, often only drew white and light-skinned people. Whether the lack of representation in illustration and images were intentional or rooted in implicit bias within the structures of the medical field, it has an impact on the level of care given to people of color by healthcare providers. With inadequate representation, marginalized people often feel alienated and not seen. How are illustrators today trying to combat this issue and how are they trying to increase diversity in medical illustration? 
Mentioned in the start of this video, Cheetah Bay Inbi created over 100 illustrations depicting black people and different medical conditions. And he also recently published a book called Beyond Skin that talks about the importance of representation in medicine. He continues to create illustrations and shares them online, and he continues to speak about it in TED Talks and other news outlets. Founder of Peanut, which is an online community for women, Michelle Kennedy created The Framing Revolution which is a free online gallery that provides illustrations of diverse body types, ages, skin tones, and more. Again, it is free for people to view and download, making diversity of medical illustration become more accessible. Elsevier, one of the most well-known publishers of scientific and medical content, recently released an app called Complete Anatomy. This allows students and educators the ability to study anatomy with a 3D model that is able to be customized, such as facial features, sex, and skin color. In 2022, the Rochester General College of Health Careers held an exhibit showcasing works of medical illustration students, including students from RIT. One of the main goals of the exhibit was to showcase the works of students and how they are the future of the field and part of the change of making medical illustration more diverse and inclusive. The Association of Medical Illustrators introduced AMI Diversity that aims to become a more inclusive and dynamic community and also acknowledges that the history of medical illustration fields reflect that of the history of the medical field. With the goal of improving health education in the community of marginalized people, people of color, and more, the AMI will put effort in confronting their own past and put effort in highlighting the works of medical illustrators that are actively working on improving diversity in illustration. It is important to note that appropriate representation of people of color, marginalized and minority groups of people, is not the only solution in inequality in the healthcare system. It can open up conversation and communication between educators, caregivers, physicians, and patients, as well as bring in more discussion about bias in the medical field.